bless you. Thank you, Jesus. And last but not least, we have Pastor Samuel is going to come and share about the church at large. Thank you, Lord. The Lord gave me three things, and on the first one, he actually showed me a glimpse of a bride dressed in military gear, and she took her helmet off, and her hair fell literally down to her feet, and she swung her hair. And the Lord says that this is the year of dominion, the might of the bride, and her hair is her crown and glory. Amen? And this is a year that new officers with new dynamics will come into the glory uh, the, the kingdom of God for the glory of God. And that lastly, he's erecting houses of glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So my sons and daughters know that this is the year of dominion that I'm calling my bride into understanding the government of heaven and the position that she holds in it. For far too long has she took the position of being uh, on the back burner and even defensive in the area of warfare. But she yields and the only other person that can yield my weapon which is my authority in my scepter is my bride. And she carries the same weight and authority that I carry for I have delegated unto her the power and the authority that is in my name that is from my authority uh, my, author my throne and my authority for I have given her dominion in the earth to reign and to rule as I would be in the earth and this is the day and the year that I'm calling her into a place of rulership like she has never known before for as the bride steps into her place and position in my kingdom and in my authority know that she will wield her authority with a greater might than she has ever been known before for no longer shall my bride be passive concerning the affairs of my kingdom in the earth but this is the hour that she begins to take territory in a place that she has never been able to take before for she will be on the offensive from this day forward for I call my bride into the place of weaponry and warfare for she will know how to function and operate with a great new zeal and passion for this is the time that I've called her into a place of administration for she will begin to administer the things of my kingdom affairs in the earth with a greater uh, passion and with a greater purpose for I am releasing greater levels of grace upon my church in this hour for there is a zeal that is coming upon my church even as it did upon my servant Phineas who picked up the javelin and ran it through the man and the woman that defied my will but this is the hour that I'm raising up men and women of God who will have the zeal and the passion of me that will go forward and advance my kingdom for they will know the weight of what rests upon their shoulders and their ability to cause things to shift in the atmosphere for no longer will they be hand hindered by what has seemingly been obstacles even in the earth realm they will not be hindered by it, for they will know that their authority is over it and they will begin to speak to the atmosphere speak to the land speak to those things that need to begin to produce what the church needs in order to advance for this is the hour that I'm raising up new offerings officers in the church of God and I'm causing these officers to function and to be everything that I've called them to be for I am putting new uh, dimensions of myself in them. You will not be able to uh, judge them by the former definitions of what was apostle and what was prophet and what was evangelist and what was pastor and what was teacher. But there was a new dynamic that I'm pulling upon them that has not been seen for I have preserved it for this hour. I have preserved it for this time and they will begin to administer on a whole new level the kingdom governance that will show and demonstrate the power that they have within them for I am unveiling unto them uh, the power to begin to change the very dynamic of mindsets and people for they will lay hands on people and cause them to shift immediately into a place of greater authority immediately into a place of greater intelligence immediately into a place of greater health for the day of transformation is upon the house of God and it will be through these ministers that I am raising up for yes it is the day of the saints 
saints, but it takes a great new dimension of, of, of apostolic ministers and, and those who carry the fivefold office in order to bring my saints into the place of dominion that they are supposed to walk in. But as they come into this place of dominion, know that I'm raising up houses of glory. I'm erecting houses of glory for my namesake. I am causing there to be literal glory openings over the houses that say yes to me. And I will take over services. And I will take over agendas. And I will take over the platforms that will be raised unto me. And I will cause my glory to reverberate all throughout the community that I place those epicenters in. For I have called them to be the house of reckoning. The house of transformation. The house that men will come in and not know me. But leave out full of me. For I desire to cause there to be a people that will be wrapped in my glory. That will carry the essence of my power. And as they begin to function, know that there is a realm of favor that I'm pouring out upon these epicenters. That they will be paid for without uh, much being done in effort. They, the buildings will be paid for. The land will be paid for. I will cause my glory to stretch out into the community and cause there to be even governments that will give these houses of glory, these epicenters of glory, entire blocks. For I will cause the, the wealth that has been stored up, to, that has literally been uh, sitting in a place waiting for these houses to manifest my power, for it to be given unto them. For as these men and women of God step into the place of being uh, 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 the catalyst behind these houses of glory, these epicenters of glory, it will be the place of reproduction. It will be the place of training. It will be the place of sending out. It will be the place of development. For as the harvest begins to come in, there needs to be a place of expedient and thorough training and development for those who have to go out and fulfill that which I've called them to do. For this is the time that the church will house and, uh, and occupy not only the land that they've been called into, but I will cause there to be even dynamics of the church that have not been understood before to begin to manifest. And there will be movements even without there being the preaching of the gospel. For there will be even uh, uh, houses that are connected or close to the neighborhood of the church that immediately people will wake up in the middle of the night full of my spirit and come inquiring, what is this thing that has happened to me? I am babbling I am speaking things that I do not know and they will come and knock on the door of the church for understanding but this is the hour that the epicenters of glory must arise for as they come forth the hour of visitation is here it's not nigh it's not on the way it's been waiting for a people who would be hungry enough and have a desire to say yes to what it is that I desire to do. And as that yes is pronounced, as soon as you get it off of your lips, there will be changes in the midst of your services that will cause there to be a wave of glory that will cause awakenings to happen all throughout the United States of America. For I have heard the cries and the prayers for great awakenings. They are coming and they are quickly approaching. Prepare yourself. Prepare your houses for the great awakenings. For there will be moments literally throughout this country where we're hit like wildfire in cities all throughout. And it will spread like a massive movement that will cause there to be the harvest that will come in to be trained up for the greatest harvest that this world has ever seen. To be won into the kingdom of God for the glory of my name, says the Lord. Hallelujah. If we can stand and make our declarations. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. So, Father, we declare that we choose to come in alignment with the year of dominion. We will learn your government and the position that we hold, that we hold in, that in that government and we will wield, we will wield the, scepter the scepter of authority that you have placed in our hands, in our hands to, function to function and administrate, and administrate the, kingdom the kingdom of God in the earth. In the earth. We, thank we thank you for the new officers, for the new officers that, you're that you're raising up. We thank you for what they carry. For what they carry. We, honor you, we honor you that we step into, that we step into 
our office that you have positioned us for. And we will carry the mantle and the weaponry to do battle and establish the houses of glory that you are erecting. We will get positioned, get planted, get plugged in. The epicenter that you have called us to. And we will be a catalyst and a carrier of your glory throughout our neighborhoods, on our jobs, in our families, everywhere that we go. We will be open for you to pour out your glory wherever we are. Miracles are my regular. Signs accompany me. Wonders is my portion. In the name of Jesus, I will demonstrate the kingdom everywhere that it is absent around me. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, let's give a shout. God, thank you, Lord. You may be seated. As the praise and worship team comes in, and uh, we're going to move this if we could. Eric, I don't know. Uh, here you are. Uh, yes, if we can move that out of the way. Um, there were a couple of things that uh, were alluded to that God had, had specifically spoken to me that I didn't uh, cover. But one is, this is also a year of maturing. You heard that in, in the words, but take it. It's for you. Um, this is a year of maturing, but this is also a year of divine covenant. God is, is going to demonstrate his covenant and his covenant blessings to us as his people. And as he begins to pour those covenant blessings out, we will be a demonstration of God's people prospering, being in health, being in a position, and making an impact for the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen. Well, now we get to bring forth our first of the year, our head of the year offering. This is the opportunity that we have to plant and sow into what God has declared and decreed over this year. So Pastor Samuel, if you would come and give us some instruction, and we're going to bring our offerings forward because we don't receive them, we bring them to the Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. Well, there's an offering envelope in the seat pocket in front of you. If you're sitting on the front row, is in the seat pocket behind you. We have the ability to receive your gift in multiple different ways. If you're giving via cash, we ask that you fill out the envelope, your name, your email address, check the cash box, put the cash in the envelope. We'll take care of it. If you're giving via check, make your checks payable to Life Center Ministries. Use the memo section to say whether or not your gift is uh, what, what, what you're naming your gift for. For Life Center members, if you're tithing in this moment, you can put tithe on there. We we'll take care of that as well. But um, if you're giving via credit card, we need your name, your address, your card number, your three digit security code, and your ex expiration date. We need all of that to process your gift effectively. If you're giving via text, send Life Center GA to 77977 and you'll receive a link to our PushPay app where you'll be able to give via PushPay and we'll be able to take care of that as well. Amen? Amen. Amen. One of the other blessings that the Lord was decreeing about this month for me as well, and, and, and Prophet Catherine, please forgive me, but this part I forgot. It was about the Lord infiltrating denominations that he's going to cause there to be a hard shift away from some of the things that have caused them to miss out on the fullness of his glory. And so some of the ones who have not believed in speaking in tongues, you're going to see the outpouring of the Holy Spirit in denominations that have denied him 
for many times over. Amen. So we're going to see the connectivity. And that's why this was a blessing seeing connectivity of houses that may not essentially at first align with with what they believe in the sense of the fullness of God but we're going to see that come together in a great way and the unity of the body will be the greatest that we've seen in a long time amen amen so are we ready to give today we'll stand to our feet and declare the blessings of the Lord over this head of the year gift amen doesn't have to be your biggest, but let it be your best. Amen. That you obey God and what he said to give. Hallelujah. With your seed of obedience lifted unto God. Father, we bless you and we honor you for this year that we've stepped into. And we thank you that you have decreed over it the good things and the wealth of what you have said. Father, we receive your word and we believe your word and we are established by it. And we believe your prophetic utterance, Lord God. And we thank you that we will prosper thereby. So now in obedience, we plant this seed that you will bless our finances for the rest of this year. That you will cause there to be economic increase as you have decreed by your word that there will be the launching of businesses that there will be uh, the healing of families that there will be the expansion of your church that there will be the building of your church in the nations we thank you father for everything that you have said even over this city that this will be a city known by your name and by your spirit so God we thank you as we step into alignment you bless us and you bless this year and we thank you father as we believe you for the fullness of your word be it on to us according to thy word and we bless you that we will prosper as our soul is prospering because your word is spirit and it is life to us and we give you praise glory and honor as we bring this seed in Jesus